Hi, in this chapter, we're going to have a quick walkthrough of the C programming language. We're going to walk through a set of programs which will help you understand how to write a C program. You may not understand everything that you're being taught in this chapter, but even if you grasp 20% of the concepts, it should be more than enough for you to be able to do the assignments at the end of this chapter. In this chapter, we would first learn on how to download and set up the DevC application. This is the application that we are going to use to write our programs and finally compile and execute them. Okay, first thing we need to talk about the tool that we're going to use to write our programs and compile them. We're going to use the open source IDE called DevC++ from Bloodshed for our development. An IDE is called an integrated development environment and that is because this application has a text editor which is used for writing your programs, a compiler, a debugger, all integrated in one environment. You can download this application from the link provided here. Please make sure you download the latest version which has the MinGW or the GCC compiler included in the installation package. Finally, once you've downloaded the installable, execute it and follow the steps for the installation process. Let's have a quick walkthrough of the entire download and the installation process. When you click on the link, this is what you get to see. So if you go to the downloads area, you will find the devc++ 5.0 beta. This is the latest version and it does say with mingw slash gcc. So we'll go ahead and download this. Once your download is complete, you can click on the package and just follow the instructions as most of them are just default values. We have nothing to worry about here. We go next, next. The installation is pretty straightforward. Once you finish with the installation, the application will launch itself. Just pick the default selections. You could pick no for this, say next. I want to disable all the tips. Now this is what the application looks like. We don't have to worry too much about making any changes or any more settings. We are done with the installation. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, now let's talk about the tool itself. You need to get used to how to use the tool so that it's very easy for you to start writing programs and quickly executing them. So let me explain to you about the various areas of the tool and how to use the menus. Okay, so if you have a project open in Dev C++, this is what your application would look like. The rightmost or the largest white area is your text editor. This is where you will write your programs. Generally, projects consists of multiple files and not just one file. So when you're working on large projects, all the files that belong to the project will be shown on the left hand side. So you can easily click to go to the particular file and start editing that particular file. And finally, the important menus that we would be interested in right now is the file menu where we can create a new project or a new source file. In most of our examples here, we're just going to create source files as we do not have to really create a project. Our programs are just going to consist of one file. So we don't need an entire project. And once we have the program ready, we will be going to the execute menu and compiling the program first. The compile step makes sure there are no errors in the programs and finally creates a .exe or an executable. Once the executable has been created, you can always call the run command or go to the particular window and double click the program to run it. Also, if you don't want to do these two steps of compile and run, you can directly press the F9 key or the compile and run option to do both of them together. 